Angry residents have accused the New South Wales Water Minister of snubbing them during a visit to inspect the devastating fish kill in the Menindee Lakes. Up to a million fish have died in the outbreak of blue-green algae. Around 150 protesters gathered amid rotting fish on the riverbank, hoping to hear from the minister about his plan to deal with the fish kill crisis. A national disaster and people need to start listening and finding out what's happening here. I think he's going to point the finger a lot and I think he's going to use the word drought, but everyone here knows that it's not. But the minister didn't stop to talk to these protesters, passing by and heading further upstream. Making matters worse, the minister's boat left a stench of dead fish in its wake. Oh, this is not good. There's two sorts of yellow bellies along this river. It's the poor yellow bellies of the natives here that are dying and the yellow belly Niall Blair who won't face the people that he's destroying. Niall Blair did eventually meet with a select group of concerned locals, backed by a significant police presence after security concerns over threats and aggressive language over social media. I've spoken to the local council and now I'm out here seeing the issue firsthand. It's estimated that as many as a million fish have been killed by a lack of oxygen in the water, caused by decaying algal blooms and the lack of flows. Look at them. That makes me feel like crying again. A Facebook video which has more than 2 million views lays the blame squarely on mismanagement of the river system. This is nothing to do with drought. No. This is a man-made disaster. The Murray-Darling Basin Authority says it's only halfway through its 12-year plan. We're on the way to solving the problem. It will take more than a few years to turn around 100 years of overuse. The Greens say for too long the interests of big irrigators have been put before those of the environment. What we should see is an immediate halt, a suspension to irrigation extraction of the cotton industry. The Federal Water Resources Minister David Littleproud says the fish kills have nothing to do with the basin plan. New South Wales is managing the Menindee Lake system because of the drought and they are responsible for water management. Um, releases that have been put down the system and into South Australia um, certainly have dropped the levels here and, and that's something that I totally understand is frustrating the locals. The state government says it will provide assistance to the local council to help with the clean-up. Sarah Tomevska, ABC News, Menindee.